We're here today to take a look at the FGI light panel 700 paired with the FGI controller, which is used to tune spectrum and tune overall light intensity if you're switching between veg and bloom mode or if you're running entire rooms of these lights and you need to dim the lights during different phases. Here's what we have for the measurements. First of all, we do have the FGI controller. We have three different channels that we can manage, the red channel, the warm white channel, and the cool white channel. We'll be taking readings under each one of those. And then we also have an Essence Tech Passport Pro, which we'll be using to take spectrum readings with various controller settings set up. And over here I have an Apogee MQ500 PAR meter, and the PAR sensor is sitting exactly 12 inches below the light. So between these three instruments, we'll have a really clear understanding of what the intensity of the light is and what the spectrum looks like when you use the FGI controller. This is the FGI controller, and you can see right now it's set to the lowest level, which is 10% of the light's output. This is a true 700 watt light, so 700 watts of wall draw. Notice that it is connected with a really simple RJ45 connection and a Cat6 computer cable. And then we have the ability to daisy chain up to 100 of the lights together, so a single con controller could control an entire room of lights. Now I've dimmed the light to 10%. We'll come over and take a look at the PAR meter, and you can see that it's down at uh, 120 micromoles, which is really actually about right for cloning. So you have a lot of control over light intensity with this light. Real quick, I'll just turn everything up to 100%. And you're going to see the light got a heck of a lot brighter. We'll take a PAR reading next and uh, take a look at what it looks like at this intensity. At 12 inches from the light with full intensity, we're reading at about 1130 micromoles of energy or total photosynthetic energy or PAR. I've set the Passport Pro up underneath the light right next to the plant. That's about 18 inches from the LEDs. And we'll just do a measurement and get a sense of what the spectrum looks like. And this is at full intensity. I think I'd like to look at the PPFD spectrum because it actually tells us what the peak energy is for every wavelength in the spectrum. So that's what the FGI spectrum looks like. See a little bump in the red because we have the 660 nanometer red diode. So we push more red energy into the fixture. This is useful for flowering. And then right now with all the blue turned on or the cool white LEDs, you can see what the spectrum looks like at full intensity. We have a lot of people that use this light for both veg and flower in the same room. Right now we're set at 600 PAR, or PPFD, at about 12 inches. That's about appropriate for veg in terms of intensity. And you can see that I have the controller set to have the red diodes turned down to 10% and the warm white diodes set to 10%. The cool white diodes are set to 100%. Let's look at the spectrum. And the PAR chart looks about what you'd expect it to look. You don't see the little bump of additional red energy there, but you see a, a lot of blue and a lot of green, orange, and red energy, which we've found to be the best overall spectrum for cannabis with LED. One of the things we really like about the Passport is the ability to compare lights side by side. And in this particular case, it's the readings that we just took. So the blue line on top is the light with 100% of all the diodes turned on. Notice a big peak spike in blue energy off to the left. And then in the center, you can see the orange and then the, the bump in the red energy, this little shoulder over here. Now that orange line on the bottom is the light with the 660 nanometer diodes turned down and the warm white di diodes turned down. So we're basically just running 5,000 K energy or just a single color of diode. Notice that there's a lot less total energy and that's why it's producing 600 PPFD, which is right for veg. And really this shows why this light is an excellent light to use in a room where you're going to veg and flower in the same space. And just for measurement's sake, here it is at 100% on the 660 nanometer channel, and both the white diodes are turned down to 10%, and you can definitely see it reflected in the spectrum. 
And so here we are back to 100% on all channels and back to 1100 PPFD on the par meter. So thanks for tuning in with Forever Green Indoors and learning a little bit about the FGI controller, how it works together with our light panel 700 and happy growing.